Hello, my name's Margaret. Um, I'm the mum carer of a son who travelled through CAMS, early intervention. He's now under the care of community mental health and he's actually living well. Um, and I got involved in the uh, peer support group when our son first moved into early intervention. Um, and I found it such a lifesaver that I've carried on attending. My name is Faith. Um, I'm a carer. Uh, one of my sons had an episode of psychosis and was under the care of the Lewisham Early Intervention Team. And uh, that was how I became involved with this group. My name is Adam Hutton. Um, I'm a family intervention therapist. And um, yeah, I've been sort of involved in co-facilitating the carers peer support group um, uh, for about sort of six years since I joined the team actually in this role. Hello, my name's Jean Wilson and I'm a family intervention therapist working in the early intervention team and I've been involved in running the group with my colleagues here for about the last three and a half years and I also have some, some lived experience of being a carer, some members of my family have some significant mental health difficulties. Hi, I'm Beth. I'm the assistant psychologist here at Lewisham. Um, might say I run the IT side of things. I keep an eye on the mailing list. I send you lots of email reminders and helpful care and information. Well, I think when I joined the team, um, I realised that there was a uh, there been a pilot already, I think, yeah. of um, a, a carers group that I think we're sort of looking back and I think it was around 2016, so a wee while ago now. And um, I, I sort of remember you talking a bit about it, you know, sort of six sessions and, yeah. and it was kind of a sort of, there was a focus, there was a subject, a topic each time. It was, I think, a bit of a presentation and that kind of thing. But I wasn't there. That was before. Yeah. So, so yeah, Mark, uh, mm -hmm. Faith, you uh, kind of know, you know, about that. And I know you've spoken about that. Yeah. Um, so the how it sort of came about, how I became involved, and my son's care coordinator told me about this group that they were trying to set up, and was I interested in, you know, coming along? And I thought, well, you know, it was all fairly new to me and I was kind of quite worried, you know, was I going to know anyone? How was I going to fit in? That kind of thing. But actually, when I came along, there were other parents, other relatives who were in the same position as me. And we had six sessions and the sessions focused on different things. So one session we had sort of about well-being and looking after yourself. Um, one about sort of having difficult conversations with your loved ones, and we all kind of related to that. Um, others were kind of more um, about medication. So we had a pharmacist that came and who would explain things, you know, queries that we had. So it was six different sessions. Um, and towards the kind of last session, last couple of sessions, we were saying, oh, you know, it'd be really nice to keep meeting. And so we kind of came up with the idea of having a monthly meeting going forward. And everyone was like, oh, well, this is going to be really good. And so that was how it really came about, that we then had the monthly meetings, which I have found absolutely invaluable because during sort of halfway um, between the six sessions, um, my son sort of had a bit of a blip and um, he was reading me every minute and I was crying my eyes out and they were saying, no, that's fine, you know, this is what we're here for. And what I felt was that others actually understood and were really supportive and, you know, yeah, so that's really the, you know, kind of how it came about, how the six sessions became monthly sessions going forward, yeah. So I sort of remember the monthly sessions as well and the, at the time we were meeting face-to-face, -face, so... We would be meeting, I think it was kind of either sort of here in this room yeah. uh, where we are or, or we sort of did meet as well at different locations in Lewisham um, and we sort of would meet sometimes at Carers Lewisham as well in Forest Hill um, and another place that we were meeting I think at the beginning was in Deptford. Yes, um, the Albany. At the Albany, yeah. So and I think that was with the idea of just for people that would find us kind of locally where they happen to be if if it was tricky to get into a particular kind of location. Mm -hmm. But I think those sort of meetings were kind of a bit more, sort of there was more open discussion, I think, in those, yeah. in those meetings. Um, 
when we were doing that face to face. Yes, yeah. So there were kind of less sort of presentations. It was more kind of like meeting with other carers and family members and kind of talking about issues that might have come up and others would say, oh, yes, I've had the same thing. And um, as you said, it was really good to have it at different venues. So we less travelling for some and more travelling for others. So it was kind of quite, but it was good to have that regular that you knew you were going to get together with others. So we found, I found that really, really helpful. Yeah. Yeah. And I guess sort of since, well, I suppose we didn't really stop. We've been kind of, we kept meeting. I think we might have only had a break kind of perhaps once, maybe twice, kind of. So it's been monthly really ever since. Yes. And um, apart from kind of, I think at the beginning when everything changed a bit, sort of with the pandemic, you know, we then changed the way that we were working, but we just continued. Yes. So, yeah. so the meetings went online. Yeah. And I think we've kind of, the group's changed a wee bit, but, you know, I think it's still kind of very well attended and yeah. there's, there's a kind of more in the way of presentations, I think, and sort of guest speakers yeah. more now than, than maybe there was in the beginning, I think. And, and also it's kind of more accessible if someone is working, they can dip in their lunch hour. And we've had people that have come in and said, look, I've got half an hour and they've just kind of, you know, joined in and kind of listened in and, and kind of kind of got their sort of inputs and gone on with the rest of their day, which I think that was kind of one of the things that we were in the beginning quite concerned about it carrying on. And then when we went online, as you said, we kind of adapted to that. And that has been, I think, a, a lifesaver because we've even got some that have moved away and they still attend online when they can. Yeah, so I think that's a testament to, to the, you know, the support that people feel from the group. Yeah.